Good morning and welcome to Yoga with Bailey. My name is Bailey and today I'll be taking you through a flow designed to loosen up the shoulders, stretch out the back and the neck, letting go of any tension. This video is dedicated to the Murphy fam and Rusty. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoy. So let's grab our mats and let's get started. to begin in a cross-legged position. But if this isn't comfortable for you, I invite you to find a pillow or a blanket and just sit it under your sit bones so that we can tip the pelvis forwards. Gently close your eyes here. Just start to consciously breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Notice the cool air at your nostrils as you inhale, and the warm air as you exhale. Notice where you feel the breath in the body, the belly or the chest. Notice your sit bones on the ground, your feet touching your mat, it's all the sensations in the body. Start to scan the body now, from head to toe, noticing any tight spots, sore spots, or places of tension. Without judgment, just noticing. Take a full breath in now, and as you breathe out, relax. Come again, full breath in. Exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale. Exhale and relax. Just letting go of any tension in the body now. We're ready to start our practice. Your next inhale. Open the eyes, reach the hands up tall, breathe through the side body, clasp one wrist and gently take it over to the other side. Release back to the middle and come over to the other side. And both hands come down now. Shoulders draw back and down and we just bow the head towards the hands. Really gently. And then start to notice a stretch up the back of the neck, across the back body. And now where can you release? Are you holding tension in the shoulders? Can you drop them away from the ears? Just enjoying this amazing stretch for the back of the neck. On your next in-breath, re-stack, head over heart, heart over hips. Shake the shoulders out, loosen up. Then we're just going to do some big shoulder rolls. So you may like to bring the fingertips to the shoulders, drawing big circles with the elbows. Doesn't matter which way you go, we're going to reverse the direction soon. So just whatever feels comfortable. So you may be smaller today, that's okay. Take two more, and then everyone reverse your circle. So does one direction feel better than the other? Feel free to massage over any cracks or creaks, smoothing them out. And 
and then release the fingers down. Shake it out. And now we're going to take a full breath in, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let them go. Three more times. Inhale, shoulders to ears. Let it go. So in your own time here. Really sighing the breath out. Releasing the shoulders down. That's it. Hand comes to the opposite side of the temple. We gently draw the ear towards the shoulder. If this is too much, just to let go of the hand. The other arm comes long. And then we draw the fingertips skywards, drop the shoulder down to intensify the stretch. And just breathe. Take that hand across the body now. Hug it in with the other arm. Shoulders draw back and down, stretching across the, the front of the shoulder. So quick check that our posture is nice and tall, lifting up through the crown of the head. And then connect to your breath. You slow it down a little. One more breath. And gently release. Shake it out. Let's come on to the other side. So hand towards the temple. Ear to shoulder. And then if it feels good, take that other arm long. Drop the shoulder down. So tension in the neck can often lead to headaches. So it's really essential that we loosen the neck up, stretch the muscles out. Two more breaths here. Reset head over heart and then find that shoulder stretch. Does one side feel a bit tighter? And now think, where can you soften? Where can you release? So the face, the hands. Let go of tension. Now we're going to bring the hand towards the elbow, take the hand overhead, coming in for a tricep stretch. So maybe you can't straighten the head and lift the hands up, you can just stay here. Drawing the hand down the midline of the back, using our other arm to pull the elbow across, stretching out the tricep. Keep encouraging the spine long, using the head to push your arm back. Make sure we're not flaring the ribs. So ribs draw down, shoulders relaxed. So can you send your breath to where it feels tight? And with every exhale, melt the muscles. You may like to clasp the hands behind, or even just reach for it. I'm still not there yet, and that's okay. Just listen to your body. Allow it to go where it needs. On your next exhale, gently release. Shake it out and come on to the other side. Hand to elbow. Send that arm up and over, down the middle of the back. And then draw the elbow in. If you want to connect the other hand, go for it. You might find you can connect on one side and not the other. That's perfectly normal. Just keep encouraging the spine long, the ribs coming down. Nice stretch for the tricep, the shoulders. So good. So 
take one more breath here and on the exhale gently let go roll the shoulders out you want to come into a flow now so take both hands behind you press the fingertips into the mat to lift the chest and lift the gaze Bring one hand towards the knee and then the other. Tuck the chin and start to round the spine, enjoying a stretch across the back body. Lift the gaze, arm curl the spine, bend at the elbows, come into eagle arms. So the hands may just be here. We clasp the hands, shoulders stay down, and we start to lift the arms gently. Turn to the side and then release the hands and come into a twist, lifting through the crown of the head, softening to the back. The other arm, arm comes back and then we flow again. So lift up through the chest and then go. So one arm and then the other, rounding the spine. Finding those eagle arms, lifting, and then twisting, just to where your body feels comfortable. So we don't want any pain, any discomfort. Just coming to where you need today. We reset, lift up tall, draw the shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale rounding, exhale softening, inhale bend the elbows, exhale lift, inhale twist slightly, exhale release, inhale lift through the crown of the head, exhale soften and gently, take the arms back. Lift up through the collarbones. Other arm. Oh, I was gonna use this one. <laughs> Rounding through the back. Shining the heart forwards and up. Hands clasp. Gently lift. So maybe you don't turn at all. Maybe you just release to a twist. That's okay. Lifting up. So you know the flow now, your body knows where to go. So just find your own time, your own rhythm. But wherever you are, just breathe. So it can be the natural breath, it can be one breath, one move. You choose. It may feel good to hold one stretch for a little longer. You're welcome to do that. Got one more round on each side. You can close the eyes to bring the awareness into the body more. Allow us to notice the feelings. Last round. Pay attention to anything that feels better than it did in the first round. Feeling a little less tense in one pose. You've got to celebrate the small, the small wins. Flexibility is not easy. And take it back. So extend the legs out in front now. Fingers point away from us. And we just sit back into the hands, draw the shoulders down, lift the chest. Just a nice gentle stretch for the front body, for the shoulders. 
If it feels good, have a look up. And then just breathe. Just a few breaths here. to come up, just walk the hands in towards the butt. That's it. We're coming into a tabletop position. So set up, wrists under shoulders, knees hip width apart, stacked underneath the hips. <clears throat> coming in for a cat cow. So coming to our cow, we drop the belly down, lift the tailbone and lift the gaze, elbows soft. Coming into our cat, we round the tailbone and just let the rest of the body follow. Come again. So we inhale to our cat. We exhale to our cow. Inhale to cat. Exhale to cow. Keep flowing here. Elbows slightly off the lock. And notice where do you feel the stretch? Take two more rounds. And then hold in your cat pose, press the floor away. Nice big stretch across the back body. And then sit it back to child. So big toes come together. Knees can be narrow or wider apart. Forehead gently rests down. If this is really uncomfortable for you, come back to your tabletop. Take the knees slightly wider than the hips. We're going to thread the needle here. So if you are in child's, pick up one arm and then thread it under. And then go again. So inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going two more times and then hold your twist. If you're on all fours, same principle. We lift up, thread halfway. And then everyone hold in your twist. Keep encouraging the heart space underneath the armpit, drawing forwards. Maybe you bring the top, top hand to the small of the back. You're in child, then you're back here, bottom arm along. We get a bit of a deeper stretch here as well as, as, well as a hip stretch. So if you're feeling really tight today, we encourage you to find the tabletop twist. Connect to the breath now. With every out breath, softening. Keep encouraging the bottom arm through, top arm back. Enjoying the stretch here. And then on your next inhale, unthread. Come on up, counter pose, and then come on down. Just reset in the middle. And let's try the other side. So thread four times and then hold. By moving. Before we hold the pose, we can mobilize the back body more, get more benefits, and loosen up a little before we come into that deep stretch. So where can you let go? Where are you tensing any muscles? Just let them go. So 
Soften the palms of your hands. Your jaw. And just ease the body into the twist. And on the next in-breath, come on up. Reset in the middle. Forehead can rest on the mat, or if that's not for you, we can stack the fists. Hips are heavy. And just gently close your eyes. Take a few full breaths here. And take a moment to reflect on your practice. Or congratulate yourself for just coming onto your mat, honouring your body. And your muscles will be, will be happy now. And gently open the eyes, use the hands to push yourself up. Come back to a seated position. We'll just finish the class together. We'll get comfy. You know, it's inhale the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart. Chin draws to chest. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed the class and see you next time. Let me know what you thought.